Hello and welcome to Let's Play in the Space 2. I'm JC Proton. This is episode 15 of my seventh Let's Play series. We are playing the standard faction of the Horatios. And we're on Endless Difficulty, Endless Duration game in a Disc 4 galaxy, which is actually four large constellations in a ring. Basically, well, I don't know, spread around in a circle ish thing with a small fifth uh, constellation in the middle. And, um, yeah, um, scarce resources, anomalies, curiosities, special nodes, and sc scarce number of minor factions. Uh, and uh, high density and lots of connections on the um, constellations. We're picking up at turn 107. You see there's a lot of dialogue. You've discovered 80% of the galaxy now. Uh, so far, we are still not at war with Cravers. Cravers are still at war with just about everybody. Uh, a lot of dialogue happening here. Okay, we got this battle with these little pirates over here. So this is part of that quest. Uh, if I defeat these pirates, I get um, 50 titanium, I think. Here, it's this one. Dust to dust. Yeah, destroy the pirates and get 50... Titanium pirates are located here. So here's the little fleet I brought over to do the deed. <clears throat> Should be able to just do repair and recover. <clears throat> Excuse me. Should go fine. Uh, they have two small attackers that are guns. And we have one protector and one attacker so should should go pretty well it's a little more even than i would like to see but having a defensive ship certainly helps i'm sorry Okay, computer, don't fail me now. Yeah, you can see we're not taking a whole lot of damage here. Both of them are attacking my buckler. up. Alright, and because we took the repair tactic, then it repairs up to a third, whatever, up to 30% damage. So he's fully repaired. The whole fleet is at max health, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to have him just head right back here. Gonos established. Okay. Yeah. 
armor and shields. So yeah, we didn't take a whole lot of damage. Most of the damage we did was from the energy weapons. <clears throat> All right, completed that quest. Woo -wee. We got a lot of titanium now. <clears throat> All right, we have an ample supply. All right, those guys are heading back to our fleet. Eight turns and they'll get there, okay. Let's see what all this conversating is about. Well, if it isn't our favorite empire, up to their usual japes. Desperate acts for desperate times. They want help we in the war. the purity of your motives. The Protectorate has a proposal for you. Uh, I do not want an alliance with them. Or with them. Soon your worlds will be scoured wasteland. Bureaucratic Imbroglio. 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 Okay. Fancy words in this game, I'll tell you, man. i tell you what, there's some fancy vocabulary in this here game. <laughs> People made this game must be pretty smart. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so diplomatic imbroglio means we're at a minus one pressure trend. Hmm. We are coming. So if it gets down too low, then they can start making demands. Just like if we get up here, we can make demands. Um, but the fact that they're doing bureaucratic imbroglio instead of declaring war is a good thing. Um, I played around, I think I played around with my laws. Yeah, I threw in the towel. I couldn't get the... Um, the approval up of, uh, above loyal. I couldn't get it into the uh, devoted or whatever at 85. So I um, I just went ahead and went uh, cram exam because it still stayed uh, loyal. And I was like, you know what? Let's get this done. So I'm trying to get these ultra deep habitats rocked out, man. They're only two turns away now. And our uh, science is up almost to 2400 now. 2348. Um, I was poking around again, and, um, he's gradually, you know, the Riftborn are very gradually warming up to me. It's taking a long time. Um, Emperor Vlad here is, um, he's warmed up a bit on the map sharing. Um, I think I need to get, like, eight or nine, um, blue cap, and he'll go for it. <laughs> he's not getting 200. Uh, if I remember right, it was like eight or nine, and he would go for it. I was checking off camera. <laughs> yeah, and I think seven, he was like, no. <laughs> yeah, seven's a no, eight's a yes. Barely. So let's do that. 166 is the influence cost, but we're making 51 per turn now that I'm not running. Now that I'm not running green fertility. <laughs> They're happy to share maps. So where we stand here, uh, so he is <coughs> at 
at war with the Kravers. Um, Vodyani are at war with the Alliance. The Alliance is at war with the Vodyani and the Cravers. The Riftborn are in a truce with the Alliance. And the Cravers are at war with the United Empire and the Alliance. And that's where everybody is politically. Okay, so we just did a map agreement. So he's showing me his maps. Yeah, that eight uh, blue cap is barely more than half of one turn of blue cap production. So not a big deal for me to share that much with him. Cool. So now instead of uh, spending a bunch of time, uh, whatever, a few turns throwing probes out here and there, I'm just going to go ahead and run around and uh, reveal curiosities. So Trainian 1 on a gas. Okay, so that's um, Quadranix. Green energy resource. Yep. over to Mintaka. Okay, is there anything at ESO? Ruins 4. Well, we're only two turns away, so we're pretty close. Okay, so that is done, that is done, that's a no, that's a no. Um, do we do, I don't know if, I don't know, well, we don't have it now, we don't have the 500 now, so we're not going to be able to do a, a bureaucratic imbroglio in response yet. Prime is starting on the intensive cultivation. Okay. It's a bug when it does that. It doesn't like scroll, uh, zoom in all the way and reveal um, 
all the details. Oh, look at that. There's another one of those subterranean cold right there. Hmm. Seven of ten movement. Ruins three on a gas. Hmm. Oh, Giga Lattice. Okay, right here. Four probes, huh? Head him over to Gistrad. couple more overwatches they'll be useful and we need them to uh to do some revealing of curiosities and such and you just want more general visibility okay i'm not sure whether we're gano or gonos i think it was gonos was first nope gano okay i a j30 no, AJ-21. It's been a while since I mentioned my naming convention, I think. Um, so I go with A, B, or C, or whatever, as the, the, the constellation that the system is in. And then the next letter is the order of um, that I established the planet. So that was H, I, J, right? And then the next is uh, a dash if it's on star lanes or a space or underscore if it's um, off lanes. And then um, the first number is the number of Telerik rocky planets. And the second number is the number of gas planets. Uh, in the past, I've been doing zero uh, for zero uh, gas planets, but I've started just dropping the zero lately, so I only have the second number if there's actually a gas planet so um i find it helps me at a glance know have an idea of where a system is when i'm looking at it on a list like this um comes in handy when you've got you know 50 or 80 systems or something when you have 10 it doesn't really matter right but when you have an empire that's spanning, you know, a quarter, a third, a half of the galaxy, then, <laughs> then it matters. 
because <clears throat> it starts getting kind of unwieldy. Okay, so we'll start with that and that. Um, and then I'll probably do the rest off camera. I would say normally I would do this and follow up with this later, but because of our financial situation, um, might do that earlier. Something vaguely like that. It'll it'll get shuffled around a bit as time goes by. We'll end up changing things around, I'm sure. Probably by that point we'll want to get that built. Maybe before. And then this will be K11, AK11. And this is that tiny little system where I have the antimatter and I have the big fleet piled up trying to defend. Okay, <clears throat> something like that. So that leaves us only two, uh, two systems with um, outposts, and I think we're at 11 of 11 now. Yeah. Just two outposts, one supported by AA. Prime and one supported by, I believe it's AD. So he's getting shipments of 70. He's getting shipments of 117. So it seems like AC has more food, <clears throat> but it's also further away. AC is down here, so it's just so far away. I don't really want to use it to support these up here. I could switch Elyon to AB and have AA support Malile, male. Let's see, Elyon. I 
which that one, let's see, it's two turns. To Sikagoja. Okay, that's 78. And this would go from 70. To 117. So it's a little higher having prime support here and have Sukagoja support here. <laughs> okay, I guess that'll work. Okay, we finished that one, we finished that one. Two turns away, man. I'm really, really, really wanting to find out what those curiosities are. Uh, let's see. We have economic crisis, so we need to come up with enough money to make it through the turn again. We're going to run out of these uh, red saying pretty soon. About four or five turns left of that. <laughs> All right, we're up into the 600 club now. Cravers are at 1200. Riftborn 944. Lumeris are 709 and United Empire 826. Sofon 649 and I'm at 609. So I'm ahead of Vodiani and Unfallen, both of whom are just over 300. They're in the low 300s. So I'm third from last. Still, still hanging in there, man, so far. Definitely a tough game. Definitely getting uh, playing a tight game here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I think this is oof. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen and eight. Yeah, so Cravers have twenty-two systems. I have eleven. Okay, literally two to one. All right, let's see what all this is. Hmm. Though we doubt the purity of your motives, the Protectorate has a proposal for you. I do not want a treaty with them. Do not want an alliance with them. All right, so these guys are over here. Three turns left on the praise. So they're shipbuilders. These guys are infinite soldiers. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get quests with them. Um, see, it doesn't allow me to assist. Even if I had the money, um, it won't. It will not let me. I'll show you. 490 so now that I have the money you'll see it won't let me do it now the money's not red but the problem is <coughs> uh, Vodiani do this thing where they enthrall minor civilizations and when they're enthralled you can't get them like even if I praise them up and and stuff it doesn't matter how high the approval gets with them, um, they will just never, uh, they won't give you a question. You can't just even assimilate them with influence. They, they're just enthralled and you have to attack them in order to get them. Okay, so do I go with this one or do I go with this one? On AA Prime.
we have 11 population. Um, we don't have anything improved to being fertile yet. And Horatio Prime, since it's a unique planet, we're not able to terraform it, period. Um, and what's the approval look like here? Very good. Okay, so we're not really worried about approval. So we're going to go for, that would either be plus 10, or this would be plus 11 food and 11 industry. So that's definitely the winner. Hey, remnants grew. Cool. So I have those on what? A, 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 B, and A, C? And A, D. Okay, so A, C grew a remnant. <clears throat> and I have one here, 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 and here. And I have soon another remnant coming out of A, A, B, and, no, yeah, A, B, and A, D. So A, D very soon. <coughs> so if one's coming out of A, D, he'll send his to A, E. So then A, C should send his either to A, F, or A, H. That's 44. That's 40. Maybe go AH. Yeah. My thoughts there are that way there's room here and this one's a little more centralized and that way this one can come here. Um, something like that. We need to put some populations here. We have been negligent about not doing that. So I like to get my starting system. I like to boost them up with one or two populations to kind of help get them going. So AJ, maybe AD can send something to AJ. Okay, so that's one population from here, one population from here gets him up to three. This guy's sending one over here to get him to three. Um, and then we'll, we'll boost AI next turn with a little bit of population and AK. So we need to, we'll work on these two next turn, if I remember. So that's normally the kind of stuff I do off camera when I'm like, oh yeah, I shuffle populations around. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> that's what I mean. Okay, so he completed this guy. Terraformed Arctic is only 560, not bad. Q 
do that up over here. Probably around there is good. <coughs> oh, there's a creeper ship. There's a scavenger. And I see I've been slacking over here. Forgetting to send probes. Oh, there's an overwatch. Third Radiant Shoal. <coughs> Second Lustrous Shoal. ratio I am taking him off of <laughs> he's coming off of that whole situation uh, Subtraining one on a steps. <laughs> He's got all kinds of stuff he hasn't explored. Yeah, the Empire's been slacking. Wow, four? Tell you what, buddy, I'm going to help you out. Ruins four. Life form one. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that one ambushed me. Oh, that was definitely an ambush. All right, um, I, I'm a little bit hesitant to review Curiosity 4s in other territories because I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who's going to be able to see those for a while. Um, and they're really, really powerful. So... This one's going here, and he's centered here. Then I want to send another one that's around the middle of those two. So I'm doing the thing where I'm sending probes in the direction I'm not moving. So I'm a little hesitant about um, going into Riftborn area um, because of the potential they might attack me. I'm going to try to not really... I'll try to just be careful. You know, this scout's a long way from home. And if he goes down, uh, there's no replacing him anytime soon, right? So, so I see these are connected here. <clears throat> I 
I guess this guy will come over here eventually when he is done scouting over here. Signal three. Oh crap. Run, 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 run. <coughs> wow. That's why I wait. Uh, sometimes I wait until I have movement left to explore curiosities. <laughs> Especially on isolated systems like that. Hooey, that was a bit of excitement I didn't really need. <laughs> okay. Huh. Nothing to see there, though. There was nothing here. Ooh, it did have those subtrains. I guess I'll probably be heading back there. Or not. Uh, I don't know. Subterranean one. Okay, that's going to be a uh, Quadrinix. I'm surprised how much Quadrinix and Orichalcix I'm seeing in this galaxy. Uh, I figured on scarce resources it would be less. I expected to see fewer deposits than that, but um, it's been more abundant than I expected for sure. Okay, uh, let's advance the turn and we'll take a peek. <clears throat> take a peek at the events and then um, I'll probably do some planning off camera. And then we'll finally be able to, in the next video, we'll be able to check out the ultra deep habitats. We'll be able to reveal those curiosities that have been eluding us wow my score went down to 597 from 60 whatever it was interesting don't normally see score going backwards i guess because i moved populations around that must be it yeehaw there it is boys Deep epic scanning. Remnant at AD. And he will send that remnant down to AE. Yeah. We'll send that to AE. I'll have to come back and probably do that off camera. Ooh, we leveled up. Cool. More fleet health is the winning move. And next will either be 20% energy damage. Yeah, probably this one right here, 20% energy damage extra on fleet. Your actions and words do not bring solace to the heart. We are concerned. 
Though we doubt the purity of your motives. Nope. The Protectorate has a... Alliance, and they'll give me Hydromio. Nope. I am not eager to get into a war with Cravers. Joining that alliance puts me at war with these two. Joining the Vujani alliance puts me at war with these guys. Yeah, no thanks. <clears throat> Some things in this cosmos we have come to understand. You are not one of them. What do you want? I want you to share your maps with me. <laughs> That's kind of a lot. How about that, so. that, that? Nope. Maybe 22. Hmm. Nope. He just wants way too much right now. He, she, it, whatever. I have a tendency of having my <coughs> genders wrong, which was never a problem, you know, 40, 50 years ago, but now it is. So, I can. I guess I need to learn how to say they a lot more than he. I refer to all of the uh, <laughs> all of the AI opponents as he most of the time when you know a couple of them are not he's. So, oops. I tend to be in life. I tend to be gender indifferent. It's just like okay, they're just a person. Right, that's my mindset. Because that's like the thing that matters more than whatever details or subdivisions or whatever. Okay, so anyway, um, let's. Do we want to see it? We do. We do kind of want to see it, don't we? Subterranean 4 on a lava. I'm thinking that's the, the artifacts, the, the square thing. Nope. Oh, it's a giant pile of dust. Sweet. Normally, I'm like, yeah, whatever. On, on those, in this game, in this game, it matters, dude. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, subterranean four. Uh, let's let's see what we get, man. Meta intactogen, huh? So meta intactogen is the subterraneans on cold. Okay, well that's probably what I have. Fifteen percent influence for system level on system. That's probably what I have over here at AI. Oops. I don't know if I should. I don't think I'm going to build those. I think I'm just going to let our... We have some ships that we can use to uh, reveal those. Okay. Let's find out what's going on at Gistrad, right? It's been all this time, all this time we've been waiting to find out. Are these or are these not endless foundries? I have been... We've all been waiting all this time to find out. Let's find out right now before we end this video. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. It is, in fact, endless foundries. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. 
which means these are probably endless boundaries too, right? Which means um, this is probably endless boundaries, and this is probably endless boundaries. And that is probably endless boundaries too. So there's a total of six deposits. There are six deposits I can get. Oh, and that's that's another oracle six. Probably. Medium arid four life form. Which might be this meta. No, 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 I forget what that's called. Anyway. Makes me want to attack Cravers more. Um, I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to look at it off camera. Um, Okay, well, there's the answer we've been looking for, man. Increased military political ideology. Okay, where was this? This one's usually good because you end up getting approval afterwards. And I can definitely use some approval. <clears throat> Meta intactogen, okay. I move that guy around. I'll have to, but I'm keeping that as a reminder. So, uh, off camera, I'll move uh, some population around. I'll probably try to get some population headed over to AI and AK from Prime, I guess. Since he's just about the only one with enough population to do it. <laughs> yeah. I guess he'll start shipping some, a couple people here and a couple people here. Cool. And we'll take a quick skip through these fleets. Overwatch will send a scout. I am curious though, if, if I took him, if I took that overwatch down the lane, I can't. It would be an off lane travel for 31 turns. I think I want to do it. There we go. And he's off. All right. So even though it looks kind of like he's on that lane, he's actually off lane. Uh, and that'll just provide uh, intelligence, right? It'll just automatically be scouting the whole time as he goes across there. And there's no way... But the Cravers can intercept him or attack him or do anything. He's invincible while he's in offlane travel. Ruins four. We'll do the two life form ones. The two ru the, the ruins four, I believe, is going to be this one here. So you see, you see, this one is fifteen percent. That's fifteen percent. So that'll be fifteen percent more food, and this would give manpower. So 
I, the quandary I'll have to decide upon is, am, am I going to be revealing those for my fellow peace people? fellow factions that are I'm at peace with knowing that eventually we could probably be at war with them <coughs> I'll have to I'll have to think about that I'll reveal one. Um, I think it's... Yeah, I'm not too worried about that one. Virtual artifacts. Okay, so that was ruins on hot, right? Ruins on hot? Yeah, I'm not too worried about those. Those are okay. Science and approval. Okay. Yeah, he has one movement left. Sends him to Takim. I'm assuming that I have that there's nothing off lane I pr I could be an error in doing that all right we'll follow up uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do the rest of this off 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 camera um, it's the video is kind of running long at this point um, I'll look around off camera a lot and we'll see you guys back at the uh, turn 109 maybe 110 and uh yeah man finally finally we are revealing the curiosity level four and we have to i'm gonna have to take a look at my uh, research queue here and make some decisions i've i've added and deleted things a lot because i have um i want these two things right this this and this are good with the sim camp um, I need money, so I could kind of do both of those. Um, more approval is a thing that I could get and I want, right? Um, but then new more approvals just around the corner with my population. Um, these two medium ships would be super useful. Unlocking this and also being able to go for this. Um, this is more command points and this gives me troops for invading, uh, which unlocks this, which would give me better guns, better energy weapons than I have, um, a cheap, a cheap version of shields and a, a better amount, a gun, uh, I mean, uh, armor, which cravers tend to be pretty heavy on kinetics, right? So more, better armor is better. Mo better armor, right? So, there are lots and lots of things that I want to research. Uh, way more than I am able to do. So, I have to figure that out. Um, if I'm going to do any government change, it needs to be immediately. And I don't think I can because I don't have enough. So the, the, the price goes up, every, every system that you have, the price goes up. So yeah, I can't afford to change government right now. So it's gonna have to wait till after the, um, the election, it, after, after turn 120. So I'll just have to have, put that out of my mind for a while. All right, well, I guess that's where we'll leave it off on this episode. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Probably 110, I'm thinking. <sighs> Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs>